humanity is going to cease to exist is wrong. There is resurrection of the dead. Jesus Christ, when he rose, it was his human body that rose. Okay? Is that plain? I'm emphasizing it because I tell you what, a lot of people in their minds believe it but don't believe it. Somehow they imagine when Jesus went to heaven, it was a spiritual body. They don't believe it was a natural body. His humanity. Your humanity will survive. Okay? Hello? It's what the Bible teaches. Go on with me. Look, we'll quickly look at the scriptures now. Uh, you've got to understand the lack of physical remains of Christ's body after the day of resurrection was the biggest problem to the Jewish authorities. They couldn't prove he was dead. And they couldn't produce Christ's body. Boy, that gave them a problem. Now they try to make sure the body didn't rise, so they put guards on. They put a big stone, they sealed the tomb, they put guards on, and they thought, we got it. <laughs> didn't work. He rose. The glory of the Father. And uh, Christ's resurrection was well attested. Uh, scripture reveals facts that rule out the possibility that he wasn't really dead. You know, that, that, I mean, he was pierced through at the side. Blood and water came out from his heart. He was um, scourged. He, he, he was tortured. Crucifixion was He died. Three days he was dead. There was no way he could come back to life. The blood had flowed out. The heart was broken. The torture was immense. There was no way that body could come back to life. And yet the glory of the Father came down on the third day and quickened his mortal body and he rose. And do you know, he came out of those grave clothes and they were left. Now you remember when Lazarus was raised from the dead, Someone had to take his grave clothes off. When Jesus rose, he stepped out of his grave clothes. Hey, he had a glorified body, but it was his mortal body, but the glory of God filled it. And it took on a spiritual and a, a physical being right there. And um, in John 11, um, you'll find in verse 44, He that was dead came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. That was um, Lazarus. But he died again. And you remember in um, 1 Corinthians 15, He was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto the present. But some have fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me, as one born out of due time. Now go to Acts chapter 1 verse 9. You'll find when Jesus, and when Jesus had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, so show come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Christ was bodily with them. He was touchable. You'll find that in Luke. Chapter 24, verse 37. They were terrified and affrighted and supposed they had seen a spirit. Jesus told them to handle and check that it was him. In Luke 24, verse 40, uh, when he thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. Thomas um, was likewise invited to touch. John 20, verse 27. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. Reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. You see, Thomas, you've got to know it's me physically. I'm not a spirit. I'm a physical being. My body rose. Thomas, you've got to understand that. You'll find also in, that's in um, Luke 24, verse 42 and 3. Um, he said, 
give me food, and they gave him a piece of broiled fish and, and of a honeycomb, and he took it and did eat it before them. Jesus wanted everyone to know that when he rose, he rose in physical form. It was his body. And the scriptures make it clear the resurrection of the dead is the resurrection of his natural body. <coughs> is that plain? You're all with me. And then you'll find out. Um, everyone knows that if you're with someone who's undeniably dead, they're not going to come back. That's it. Um, you've got to understand that there were many, many religious people that suffered. And everyone knew that it was impossible once someone was dead for them to come back to life. And the Jews, especially the high priests and the Sanhedrin, once they'd had him crucified, they were determined to keep him in the tomb. <laughs> They've got to stop him rising. And boy, they failed. He rose. And the apostles preaching in Acts always majored on their witness to the fact of Christ's resurrection, whether they were Jews or Gentiles. <coughs> and our salvation depends on it. Um, he rose. Acts chapter 1 verse 21. Wherefore of these men which accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John unto the same day <coughs> that he was taken up from us, he says in Acts 1 verse 22, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of what? You've got to be a witness of his resurrection. Once again, it's resurrection. Acts 2. Uh, verse 32, this Jesus has God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. You'll find that similar verse in Acts chapter 2 and 3. Then in Acts 4 verse 2, being grieved, this is the people, the Jews that caught them, were grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus what? The resurrection of the dead. Well, one thing they didn't want taught was the resurrection of the dead. You'll find in Acts 4.10, the answer, be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. Resurrection. Acts 4 verse 33, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. They were always witnessing resurrection, resurrection, resurrection. It's amazing that the church witnesses crucifixion, crucifixion, crucifixion. They've lost their way. They've